Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 19 on basic probability. In this lecture, we will discuss one more problem on basic probability. This question was asked in GTU winter 2020 exam of AME subject. AME that is applied mathematics for electrical engineering subject. As we are familiar that this topic basic probability is in the courses probability and statistics as well as this subject applied mathematics for electrical engineering so i have taken the problems which are asked in gtu exams of both the subjects okay fine so in this problem uh, we require the knowledge of addition law of probability we know that suppose we have two events a and b and suppose we are interested in the probability of the event either A or B. That is probability of the event that at least one of these two events occur is probability of A union B. And addition law says that probability of union of A and B is given by addition of probabilities of A and B and uh, subtract the probability of A intersection B that is probability of A and B occurring both. So we will use this formula here. Also we require the knowledge of De Morgan's law. We know that complement of A union B can be written as intersection of complements of A and B. So we will use this also and uh, as we are familiar with complementary event suppose complementary event of A is denoted by A bar then probability of A and probability of A bar is equal to 1 that is probability of A bar can be obtained by subtracting probability of A from 1. So we are going to use these three facts in this problem addition law as well as De Morgan's law and probability of complementary event. With this in mind, let's try to solve this problem. What is given? The probability that an integrated circuit chip will have defective etching is 0.112. The probability that that electric that integrated circuit chip will have a crack defect is 0.29. And the probability that that circuit chip has both defects is 0 0.07. What is the probability that a newly manufactured chip will have neither defect? So here they are talking about two defects for this uh, integrated circuit chip. So we can define one event as, as the event that that circuit chip has defective etching we can consider the event A as the event that uh, circuit chip is having defective etching and we can define another event B as the event that circuit chip has crack defect. So there are two types of defects here. One is chip is having defective etching and uh, circuit chip will have crack defect and we are given probabilities of A as well as B. It is given that circuit has defective etching probability of that event is 0.12 and the probability that circuit chip has crack defect is 0.29 and also it is given that circuit chip has both the defects is 0 0.07 that is probability of A intersection B is given as 0 0.07 probability of A intersection B means probability of the event that circuit chip has both the effects it has defective etching as well as crack defect so this is given information and what is asked what is the probability that a newly manufactured chip will have neither defect that is it has a it circuit chip has no defective etching as well as no crack defect 
so if uh, a is the event that circuit chip has defective etching then a complement is the event that circuit chip has no defective etching similarly b complement is the event that circuit chip has no crack defect and we have to find the probability that chip will have neither defect that is event a bar occurs as well as b bar occurs a bar means chip has no defective etching b bar means chip has no crack defect that means if we take the intersection of a bar and b bar then this is the probability that newly manufactured chip will have neither defect and we are asked to find out probability of this event a bar intersection b bar so using this information uh, we can obtain this probability for that first we can uh, write down this a bar intersection b bar as complement of a union b bar using de morgan's law therefore probability of this event will be equal to probability of complement of a union b now using the definition of complementary event or we know that if we take addition of probabilities of a and a complement then their sum is always 1 so using this fact this is going to be 1 minus probability of a union b probability of complement of a union b equal to 1 minus probability of a union b and this we can decide using addition law for probability probability of a union b will be equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b and in the question we are given all these three probabilities so putting their values here we will be able to decide this required probability that circuit chip will have neither defect so this is very easy question and uh, we have to write all these things systematically i have written here first i write that this events a and b are defined in this way a is the event that chip will have defective etching b is the event that chip will have crack defect and we are given that probability of a is 0.12 probability of b is 0.29 probability of a intersection b that is chip has defective etching and crack defect is 0.07 to find the probability that chip will have neither defect we have to obtain this probability probability of a bar intersection b bar that is probability of chip having no defective etching and probability of chip having no crack defect and we start with de morgan's law we first write that a union b bar equal to a bar intersection b bar therefore probability of a bar intersection b bar will be equal to probability of a union b bar and this is equal to 1 minus probability of a union b and uh, probability of a union b can be replaced by p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b by addition law and then we substitute all these values here p of a is 0.12 p of b is 0.29 and p of a intersection b is 0.07 and after doing calculations we find the probability that chip will have neither defect is equal to 0.66 probability of a bar intersection b bar means probability that chip will have no defective etching and chip will have no crack defect that is probability that chip has neither defect is equal to 0.66 so that is all about this problem it is very easy question you must be familiar with the, all these three uh, statements or results that addition law then de morgan's law and addition of probabilities of a and its complementary event is always equal to 1 Okay fine so this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching.